Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for our Texas Dream Art tonight. Um, we had kits that you should have been able to pick up at the library. It came with a piece of a board, um, an outline of Texas, a uh, pack of nails, and a uh, pack of three embroidery floss. Okay, um, the best, uh, if you haven't done already, I would recommend you tape your paper to the board. It holds it better and it's easier when you start hammering it to hold it in, in place. That's what I did. I just use a uh, painting tape, but masking tape should work as well. So I'll give y'all a moment to do that if you haven't already. But yeah, taping it is the best way to keep it in place. And for our design, um, you notice this is a little hard in Texas. Um, you don't have to put it, leave it there if you want to change it up. Feel free to do that. You can just simply draw on it. That's what's uh, really fun about string art is that it's super simple to do. Uh, you can find designs online and you pretty much just print it out and then hammer over the outline. So if you want to do like a star in the center, feel free to draw one or um, want it to move the heart. I know some people like to, to move the heart to the area where they live. So if you want to change it up a bit, feel free to do that. All right, so one more hammering, uh, our Texas outline. Uh, we each gave y'all nails that should be enough to fill it. In. These are, for string art, one inch nails usually work pretty well. These are slightly bigger than one inch. They're about an inch and a quarter. And I found it best, I was uh, experimenting to do the corners first. I wish I had done that one like this. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, the way I was spacing it, I kind of missed that corner. But I, but if you want to, when you start hammering, I think going with the corners first, right? These three corners would be best. And and the a good roll of thumb for string art is about one centimeter apart from each nail, which is about the length of your fingertip. So you can just put your finger down there and hold your nail there and hammer. Oh. I put a towel under my board. I'm not sure if you guys noticed to kind of help uh, mute the sound because it's going to get loud when you uh, when you hammer your boards. And when you're hammering, you want about half the inch. You want to hammer about half the nail. That was my next question. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> about half the nail. You may have to like move it around to look at it a bit uh, just to see. Uh, how your nail is compared to the rest of the nails. You may have to bang it in place too. But yes, pretty much just spacing it about one fingertip each nail is how you want to do it. See, just like that. Ooh, this one's kind of crooked. It's pretty simple. Does anybody have any questions so far? Okay. So I'm gonna keep going for a bit. When you're putting your nails down, when you get down to all the detail in Texas, uh, cause you know, Texas is a weird shape state. <laughs> Don't worry about uh, getting all the little nooks and crannies. We just want the basic outline. The closer you put your nails together, um, the more busy your string out will look. So if you like that kind of look, feel free. I'm not sure if we have enough nails for a design like that. No. But um, the closer they are, the busier the string art will look. I'm trying to leave the heart part open just a little bit because I'm going to nail the heart and then close it off. 
That way it's easier to get inside the street. Pretty fun to do, um, and they're easy to do on your own. The only thing is finding the right board to use. We got all our boards from Home Depot. They cut them for us. So if you get one from somewhere else, just be careful with your nail sizes because you don't want to hammer your nail through your board. But that definitely should not be a problem with these boards. And some people like to use pliers to hold the nails. Sure. It's easier. I think it's awkward holding <laughs> two tools in hand. It's whatever works for you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, some nails on my heart. I'm gonna start right here. This center. Yeah, you want to move it, make sure you move your board around and eye it in comparison to the rest of your nails. That way you're trying, you're getting it as a, even as you can. It's not always easy. So for the heart, I did the two points first. out with my heart uh i would recommend making putting the nail for a little bit further in not exactly where the printer where uh, the point shows on the piece of paper i've never done a heart before okay I like the way that is better because you want to make sure and try and get that. I don't want to say triangle, but the the dents in the heart. Heart. If you want a tighter looking heart, go feel free to put more nails if you're able to. myself for kind of like the, the looser look. Yeah, see here. Even though it's pretty much about a centimeter between these two, I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. When you put your nails in the center, you just want to think about how you're going to want to string it and how it's going to look. So that's um, 
when you nail it, when you think about how many nails you want to put in your heart, just think about how it's going to string and how busy you want it to look or how loose. So I'm going to go ahead and close off my Texas outline. And like I said earlier, you don't want to, you don't have to be super precise with your outline. I know it has a lot of little details of the ridges in Texas, but we just want the basic shape. So we'll make stringing it much easier. <laughs> Those are sliding. I hate how loud it is, but I really like hammering. Kind of, kind of get into the zone, doing everything. Crafting is always very therapeutic. Yeah. If you do what I did, like you. You actually hit it at an angle and it goes weird. You can just always hit it back into place. See? Just gonna check on them. Mine are definitely not perfect. There are some I can probably hammer a bit more. But once you have them basically net hammer to get it's easy to look at them from a side point of view and see what you need to fix I add more nails to my heart I'm mostly happy with it. <laughs> How's everybody doing so far? It's all coming along for everybody. <laughs> all right, that's good. Yeah, it's coming along good. Thanks, Debbie. Um, 
yeah, this part is the hammering part is the pretty tedious part, trying to get everything in there. But like I said, um, the good the rule of thumb is your finger the length of your finger now, your fingertip. If you want to be precise, you can bring out a ruler, but this works pretty well. And like I said earlier, if you don't want to have the heart right there, string guard's easy to, to improvise and fix things. You can always move the heart over here, draw a heart on your board, and now put the nails there. Or if you want a star in the center, like I said, it's easy to do a quick, quick drawing on it and then hammer it. So you're not just uh, constrained to uh, the little heart on the paper. All right, and now that I've finished all my nails, I'm just gonna take my tape off. It's your paper tires, that's okay. We're about to rip off the paper. Uh, so Ashley, so the nails, when you look at it eye levels, the, the head of the nails should, should all be close to even, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As close as you can get. Mine are definitely not all even. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but they're close enough that they'll still work for string art. String part. <laughs> so don't feel like you have to be perfect. And I'll tell you, mine definitely is not perfect. Okay. So as you can see, I've got all my nails. Um, or nail down in my board. I got my little heart right there where I want it. And so once you're done, you can just tear off your paper. Your nails should be in there firm enough or they won't move. So. The one thing is you might get um, some pieces of paper stuck around your nail. If you have some tweezers or some pliers, you can simply take them off. Okay. That's the only thing about the paper. But it makes it much easier to do designs. So I'm definitely not. And oh, I can't draw. So I definitely rely on uh, finding what I online. I would definitely have to look online and print out an outline. Instead of doing something freehand. So you just want to go in and take off those little scraps of paper. See, I'm not sure if you see some of it. I'm not sure I like my heart too much. And if you have to move it now or make a hole, um, that's okay. You won't see it much when you do the string art part. Because um, when I first started the heart, I put the, the nail up higher and I didn't like it. So I took it out. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little hole like right on top of it. So if you need to do that, don't worry about it. The string art's going to cover it. So don't be don't be afraid to make mistakes. They will all get covered. <laughs> that's how you nail down your nail art board. <laughs> 